Hello everyone, this is Brushes and Bunnies and welcome to another YouTube Artist Collective video. I need a scarecrow after what you did Cause all of the birds know that I'm almost dead I'm barely breathing I'm barely awake You left me in pieces There's no more to break Don't wake me up Not in this century Don't wake me up Cause you're just a ghost inside It's time for another YouTube Artist Collective theme, and the theme for today is Masquerade Ball. And I was so, so, so excited to get this theme because I've always had a thing for Masquerade Balls, and it's something that I always wanted to go to. But honestly, I don't think I'll ever experience in my lifetime, which is a little bit sad to say. But I guess I'll never know. Uh, maybe I will. I, I don't know. I don't know what life brings. Maybe it will happen, maybe not. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is that this theme is very special to my heart, which is why I put so much effort into it. And I think that I I really like it. I think it turned out really great compared to like my previous few paintings that I've been doing. So this one is especially um, very special to me. If you're unaware about the collective or the YouTube Artist Collective, it's basically a collective of artists that come together every couple months to basically paint around a common theme that has been chosen by the collective's followers. There are links down below to all of the amazing artists that are part of the collective and of course links to the Facebook page which you can basically follow and vote upon the next theme. I wanted the concept of this painting to be super dramatic, and actually when I thought of Masquerade Ball, I immediately got this visual or this vision in my head, and I just went for it. I didn't draw up any other sketches, I just drew up this one idea that I had. I knew that I wanted the character to be wearing a bunny mask, because go figure, brush some bunnies, I love bunnies, and I did not want to pass up this chance to actually draw something. Initially, the mask I wanted to be a little bit more decorative or Baroque style almost, but I actually decided to go with a latex kind of mask, which is a little bit, uh, <laughs> um, a little bit naughty, but uh, I actually really like the look of these masks and I thought it fit really well with the character that I was dreaming up or just painting. Now, in regards to the character itself, I wanted to draw her with uh, a pretty pink dress and she's very feminine and very soft elegant and she has these uh, kind of these pastel colored gloves and a pastel colored dress and there's glitter on it and there's lace and it looks very very girly except for a couple things uh, that pretty much give you away or give away the character's sort of uh, personality. Of course one being the mask the cherry red lips, and also the tattoos, which is the first time that I actually really draw tattoos on people. I really loved this effect. I gave it a more modern twist to the concept that I was doing with the masquerade ball, and I think that the character turned out really cool. My favorite thing about this portrait was the fact that I sort of went back to the old way of painting that I used to do years ago, and that was to incorporate all kinds of mixed media together, and also the biggest aspect was to incorporate pastel as well with my watercolor work. So I'll explain a little bit on how I do this and how I achieve like the seamless blend for the skin. Way, way, way back, maybe like three years ago when I first started doing watercolor, I would create these portraits with watercolor and I was never really good at it. And what I liked to do was actually cover up my mistakes with pastel. So what I ended up doing was buying some pen pastel artist pastels. And these are little pans, like these little circle pans that have 
a kind of like hard pressed pastel in them and you can basically just get like a foam or a sponge and kind of like rub the pastel off and then you could put it onto your paper and I used to do this as a way to blend my skin tones better because back then I was really bad at it and I'm still getting used to or still trying to find a watercolor style and for this one I was just like I was painting her and she was like, I was painting her color, her collarbone, for example, and I just found that she turned out a little bit too muscular or a little bit too bony for my taste. And I wanted something a little bit softer. So I decided to get my pastels out for the first time in maybe over a year. And it was really one of the best decisions I made for this portrait because it did end up giving a soft glow to her skin and it just worked really, really well with the concept. Something that I really love about these pastels is the fact that I could blend them uh, without issue together with the watercolor as well as with my polychromo. So if I wanted to draw on top, it was possible. If I wanted to paint on top, it's also possible. So this is something that's really great with these pan pastel. In regards to the other materials that I did use for this portrait, I have a lot and you can find it all down below in the video description. I used a mixture of my Shinhan Premium watercolors with my St. Petersburg White Knights uh, watercolors and they worked really really well. I really love these watercolors and I had a lot of fun mixing them and basically trying to create a nice skin tone for her uh, which was a bit challenging and I think I went a little bit too dark but I think in the end it doesn't look so bad. Apart from that I also tried to avoid my fine liner like a black fine liner. I wanted a lineless artwork. Although I did use a soft pink for uh, the outline of her skin, which I think turned out really cool as well. And this is something that I don't typically do. I typically outline with black or not at all, uh, but having a different color was really nice and it just gave that extra kind of feminine look that I was looking for. I also did use a lot of white gouache, which was my Schmincke white gouache paint. I really love using this together with watercolors. I made use of it for some features in her face, her hair of course, and the little hanging chandelier in the background. So this uh, just looks really nice in contrast to the dark blue background. And another element that I really love using are my glittery paints, and this is just my aqua bronze. Uh, I, I used a rose gold for her dress details and it's basically just powder that you can like uh, put into a bowl, mix it with water and it creates a really really strong uh, kind of glitter paint. So I did use this for the dress, I did it for the butterfly on her finger, some parts of her gloves and of course the pearls in her hair. Looking back on the portrait and just the painting process, I have to say that it felt really good kind of going back to my roots of how I used to mix all of my mixed media together, how I would use the certain elements or the certain materials together, and how I tried to create a seamless, flawless sort of portrait. I felt really good doing it and going back to pastels again and just playing around with it. It's just uh, like, I don't know, I thought it was a good change and from the last time that I used it up until now, I feel I feel like I learned a lot in terms of anatomy, in terms of building characters, in terms of trying to fix dynamic poses and uh, give the character some sort of life with the drawing. And I think that combining that together with the old way that I used to paint uh, just makes me happy. I, I don't know, I really like it and I think I'll explore a lot more in terms of playing around with some pastels together with the watercolor and the uh, sort of polychromos once again. She will be available in my Etsy store. I'm actually really reluctant to uh, sell her. I, I sort of want to keep her, but at the same time, I kind of need money after coming back from my <laughs> long trip. <laughs> we spent a lot in Ireland and uh, yeah, it would be good. Uh, it would be kind of cool to, to sell a, a painting. So I'll have her in my Etsy shop. What I will do is take a scan of her and eventually offer prints. Uh, in the near future. So I really want to get into this whole printmaking business. I need to buy a printer hopefully next month and I will have prints of her also available in my Etsy store. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. It really does help me and I'm very grateful for all of your support. And don't forget to subscribe for more art videos 
and uh, follow my Instagram and Facebook. All of the links are down below in the video description. And also don't forget to check out all of the other artists that are part of this collective. Check out their videos, see what they did for this theme. I'm actually so excited to uh, check, the check their videos out as well. I want to wish you guys a lovely day. Keep drawing, don't ever give up, keep being awesome, and we will see each other very soon. Bye! I need an angel after what you did Cause you were the devil You messed with my head You lied to my mother Don't wake me up Cause you're just a ghost inside my head You're just a ghost, you're never there You're just a memory on my lips Cause you're just a ghost inside